omkutu goliko gaona media za Uganda ona ku ramande jo tafunye mukente uh, kutata ganzo wako mbiuma bya fe uh, na yetu akoze kisoboka chona 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 okulaba nti yetu bakelera kumwe na mwe na banga ya kuno media za Uganda YouTube channel ya sala oku bantu no aye e kwa information ina ina sako no oku bantu no hey wala channel no ezikuleta no stress Mm, all channels go just stress balazo omuntu ayino ogubwa balaze kwegama na inoga ine mukama chichi dale chiri mwandu mugwanga tuliga nefe tusoka kubisenge kane tubisenge ja ngale tunaba kola chi ngale tunaba kubikuyira ko au kumutimba gano osobole okubira mutasoka wa dereki yali amalega go muzinda alogo e mwena abanonya munonyi eko enamba yange wele wa guru mu nkubire ko mwe bakadama baseka dama bani wena story yo ne enja wulo nkubira ka kuno tumsamu tano mwenda zilo mukaga mnana mwenda asatu msamvu ya whatsapp genda ku whatsapp nkugambe ya whatsapp 0759068937 bona kuba tegenda kuita mu nchidamu bonku bila kwe namba direct call enzo uta damu noka atina kusome de namba enchama ne wojiteka ko whatsapp uja ku nsindikira ka hi then nombi yacho na echiwa chikolachi chona echiwa chigenda mu maso mbajukiza aba ke isolo e ne ke isolo omwezi kwa mwogo kulanga ndaba ngo kutanzu okusebengirira Eh, irasi se, irasi nyabo, ugena kwa tayo kase nta wa kala. <laughs> Oye lengo njiga njiga muka, ote miezi jite mo jita ambule. Sako na walo pa free, eh, na mwenda wele chinti chikize, kizi nako zita ambude. Eh, na yeba ambi, kusasi la nyoro kufira mama, uh, mchala kasumba. Kusasi la nyoro kufira. Banda, kranti wa foyo, ya fili duwa mama we. Uya filu kwa mama we Ela wakuziki wa kuro kusatu Awo ewe sega e, Ndozo ulumbi luja kube ila ukasumba sikuwea Nenda kama umio kulizika yena ye Nga vabu vi mguangali ya Kanada Ato kuma wanenu Kuma wanenu mguangali ya tujuganda Kuma ntino asiura Mama uyo ya tufude kuchi Kuma asono ye Chitupa gamba chimu Ntino umuami kasumba kawoya Tulina awe Mguli imbera yona Tulina awe togwa mmangi Na hina laji, wana hina laji, walaji huna Hati mkama ya agaba, hati la mkama ya kulachi Ya jao Betu ina gona kuraliro Banoe kala hafude ni mimuru gunya Ola Omukula manjidu wanga Captain Mike omukula Okozi soku mwomu kutugwe ogwa Twitter Na sake vigambe Vivu mabaganda Gabagamba hatia, ya bagambi Usha not allow this country to go to Baganda dogs We have come a long way we want only those Western Uganda readers that have fought for their country and have Uganda at heart. John M. M. K. has been there in every way. Michael Mukula at the launch of the Patriotic League of Uganda. We are your good day. But now Uganda, we have to do the same thing. 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 Professor Wadi was a Kenya. Ya vude na misa amega ina mga ata jiso waka kwewe sewe uwe yogiza yogizi ya Ni mu na amu gamba chitekeza wako wako gambi ya tinu Baganda like a dogs Oda niso kufuma kabaka Obo ufumi chakulanyi Obo ufumi ba mpuga Obo ufumi ba niwa nabu 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 ganda Ntinu for them they are like a dogs Na ya Captain Mike mkula uno katugezo kwa ka odi oke Boyaba da yogera nga alieri ukulonji nga the Patriotic League of Uganda Boyati wa yagese zako ukogera Boyati Has been able to put on the ground For those who want to hear Listen to this carefully The population growth As we talk now Uganda is the youngest nation in the world. Why? Because the population growth of this country is at 3.2%. When you look at fertility rate, we are at 6.3%. When you look at the numbers that we produce, we produce nearly 5,000 children every day. The age between 0 to 4 is nearly 8 million children. The age between 82 and above is 216 people. Look at that variance. The age between 
below the age of 30, below the age of 30 is 80% of our population. The age below, the age below 16 years is 50% of our, is 55% of our population. What does it mean? We have a young nation. This can only be achieved by positive results. And if you look at the economy of Uganda, Uganda now is rated among the 10 fastest growing economies in the world. There are those who have eyes but don't see. There are those who have ears but don't hear. Tell them. Let me tell you even more. By 1986, Uganda was a pariah state, a failed nation. Failed nation. Kabisha likuwe meanguka. By 1986, Agrawari took up arms to fight Yori Kaguta Mseveni, NRM, in 1986, and killed all the LC's ones in Busia, Malaba, up to Rakaka, a group called FOBA, Force Obote Back Again. A little after that, 1987, my brothers from Tesono, a man called Peter Tai and Colonel William Omaria, with a man called Hitler, took up arms formed UPA, Uganda People's Army, fought for seven years inside Teso. They were disarmed, they completely neutralized by our gallant forces of NRA. In, in the West Nile, we had a man called Juma Oris, West Nile Bank Front Part Two, Part One and Two. He was injured in Oraba, died in, in uh, Juba. I think he died in Khartoum. West Nile Bank Front was defeated. Then there was another man called Ali Bamuze, Uganda Rescue Front Part 2, Part 1 and 2, suits, and put on uniform. And I'm happy to say, General M.K. Kainerugaba joined Arrow Boys in fighting and obliterating the forces of Kony. And our gallant forces of UPDF, again led by MK and many other forces, rolled LRA like a carpet, 2,000 kilometers in Central African Republic, never to come back again. <clears throat> now, Vijana Bado Munacheza na Uganda. Uganda is not a stage for you to come and act. Uganda is not a stage for you to come in and say what you want, do what you want. It is not an experiment to govern Uganda. It costs life. It is against this that I'm telling you, comrades, that when you're looking at Uganda, weigh Uganda carefully. General Yoel Kagutam Seveni has taught many people. A movement of 27, today, the National Resistance Movement encompasses the whole country. I'm happy that you, comrades, the chairman of the movement are here. I'm happy that you, the chairman of the districts are here. I'm happy that members of parliament are here. I'm happy that ministers are here. I'm happy that you, the civil service, civil society, are here. I have seen activists coming together. Let me tell you, a revolution is dynamic. There are those who will take over, and a revolution is not tribal. A revolution is not ethnic. A revolution does not have religious divide. A revolution is of patriots. That's why I'm happy today to say that launching this league of patriots is a humble duty that I cherish and I thank the Lord Almighty. 
All we need to do, there never has been a time better than today. The opposition is, the weak, is at its weakest moment. The opposition is at its weakest moment. You can see that inside Forum for Democratic Change, this group has been fighting the other, and this group has been fighting the other. It's no longer Forum for Democratic Change. It's Forum for Democratic Confusion. There are groups that have joined us. UPC has joined us. Or working with us one way or the other. DP is working with us. You have this other group that is trying to raise confusion. You cannot, and I want to send a message to them. You cannot associate with those who have got a culture which is anti-African and think that you are fighting for the minority rights which is anti-African. How do you embrace a norm which is against the teaching of God, Sodom and Gomorrah, and you want to lead Uganda? How do you let our children, men and men, marry each other? Women and women marry each other. How do I embrace my son coming home with another man, home, and then I say that I'm African? Let the Europeans have their culture. Africa has not yet come to that stage. If you want to associate with homosexuals, go to Europe. You go out and decampaign your country. Munafanya namnagani. What kind of leader do you want? You can have a quarrel with your government, but never have a quarrel with your country. Never. Uganda will live beyond me. It will live beyond you. But be a patriot, be a nationalist, like this league that has been formed today. How can you go out to the Europeans we as Africans, the black people, we are subjugated for 400 years. We are sold like slaves as slaves. Brazil now is the second largest black nation in the world after Nigeria because of the white man. Africa has got a duty to rediscover itself. Never has it been a better opportunity than today. Somewhere I read, we as Africans, are not recognized by those people. Somewhere I read that we believe in the Bible. Somewhere I read in the Bible that we are people of God. But the moment you go against the teaching of the Lord Almighty, the Lord of Abraham, the Lord of David, we commit communally will disassociate from you and reject you. No wonder the Catholic Church the other day, the bishop said, the, the Pope said that you can bless these people. I thank all the bishops and archbishops of Africa who stood together and firm and said, we will not associate with that statement. That shows you that Africa is now forming itself. Africa is rediscovering yourself. And the league of young leaders like you will now be able to take Africa to the, to the higher destination. My message to you. Ulideko. Yavaya yokao. Then nama na na samba jevi kama naga ah ba muko tinga wobi. Oyabata kuti vya mu joita baba sa. Yaga mintu na ba muko tinga wobi sibatu ya yogera. Netu gakiza huko muno nyako. Na kwa nani na ya tiro njoo kui buza buza tabela njoo busy busy. Netu gakiza huko muno nyako. Tulabe eh oba bia yogera biari bitu foba nita. Iba ngati biari bitu fu eh. Kuchimani.